Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Gaurav Dhawan Lal with the news at 9. The headlines Prime Minister Narendra Modi says BJP is in politics to serve the nation but other parties want to divide and rule and build vote banks President Ramnath Kovind approves re-promulgation of ordinance banning practice of instant triple talaq Prime Minister releases commemorative coin of 350 rupees to mark birth anniversary of Guru Gobind Singh says teachings of 10th Sikh guru show the path of humanity New Delhi reiterates commitment to economic reconstruction of Afghanistan and promoting peace and reconciliation process in the country. In sports, 10-year-old shooter Abhinav Shaw becomes youngest gold medalist at Khelo India Youth Games. And in Premier Badminton League, summit clash between Bengaluru Raptors and Mumbai Rockets underway in Bengaluru. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the BJP is in politics to serve the nation but other parties want to divide and rule and build vote banks Mr Modi was interacting with BJP booth workers from Tamil Nadu's Mailadutharai Perambalur Shivaganga Theni and Viruddhanagar through video conferencing today the prime minister said opportunistic alliances and dynastic parties want to build their own empires but the BJP wants to empower people our friends in the opposition are any way a confused lot the first thing they do is make opportunist alliance with parties they dislike till recently and still do perhaps if modi is so bad if government is not working and if people dislike the bjp then why build this alliance Mr Modi expressed confidence that the BJP will do well in the forthcoming Lok Sabha elections. He said the polls are important for the BJP and the country to further the government's development agenda. The prime minister said Tamil Nadu is famous for its textile industries and his government has taken steps to boost the sector specifically. President Ram Nath Kovind has approved the re-promulgation of the Triple Talaq ordinance. In a Ministry of Law and Justice notification, the government said President Ram Nath Kovind has promulgated the Muslim Women Protection of Rights on Marriage Ordinance 2019. The ordinance seeks to protect the rights of married Muslim women and criminalize the practice of instant triple talaq. The president has also re-promulgated the Companies Amendment Ordinance 2019 and the Indian Medical Council Amendment Ordinance 2019. The Congress party will contest the upcoming Lok Sabha elections in Uttar Pradesh alone. This was announced at a press conference by the All India Congress Committee General Secretary Ghulam Nabi Azad and the Uttar Pradesh Congress Committee President Raj Babbar in Lucknow today. Mr Azad refuted charges that the Congress did nothing for the poor, Dalits, minorities and backward classes. He said the Congress united the country which was divided in many parts. In Rajasthan, senior BJP leader Gulab Chand Kataria has been elected leader of opposition in the state assembly. He was chosen as the leader of the BJP legislature party unanimously in a meeting at the party office. Talking to reporters after the meeting, the party's national general secretary Arun Singh said former chief minister Vasundhara Rajay proposed Mr Kataria's name as the leader of the BJP's legislature party which was seconded by the party's MLAs one by one Defence Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has reached Port Blair on a two day visit to the Andaman and Nicobar Command ANC this is her second visit to the command during her stay the defense minister will review the operational preparedness and infrastructural developments of the outlying units of the ANC the 352nd birth anniversary of guru gobind singh is being celebrated today born at patna saheb in 1666 Guru Gobind Singh was the 10th Sikh guru. He succeeded his father Guru Tegh Bahadur Singh as the leader of Sikhs at the age of just 9. President Ramnath Kovind has paid homage to Guru Gobind Singh on the occasion. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today released a 350 rupee commemorative coin in New Delhi to mark the birth anniversary celebrations of Guru Gobind Singh. 
Addressing a gathering later, Mr. Modi said the Kartarpur Sahib corridor is an atonement of the mistake that took place in August 1947. गुरुद्वारा दरबार साहब के दर्शन कर पाएगा अगस्त 1947 में जो चूक हो गई ये उसका प्रायश्चित है हमारे गुरु का सबसे महत्वपूर्ण स्थल सिर्फ कुछ ही किलोमीटर से दूर था लेकिन उसे भी अपने साथ नहीं लिया गया ये कॉरिडोर उस नुकसान को कम करने का एक प्रामाणिक प्रयास है The Prime Minister lauded Guru Gobind Singh's lofty ideals and values of selfless service to humanity devotion heroism and sacrifice and urged people to follow his path ne guru gobind singh ji ke vyaktitva mein anek vidhaon ka sangam tha wo guru to the hi bhakt bhi shreshth the wo jitne acche yodha the utne hi behtarin kavi aur sahityakar bhi the anyay ke virudh unka jitna kada rukh tha utna hi shanti ke liye bhi aagrah tha manavta ki raksha ke liye rashtra ki raksha ke liye dharma ki raksha ke liye उनके सर्वोच्च बलिदान से देश और दुनिया परिचित है द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ गुरु गोविंद सिंह इज बीइंग सेलिब्रेटेड एज प्रकाश उत्सव इन वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग पटना साहिब अ कॉरेस्पोंडेंट रिपोर्ट्स स्पेशल लंगर्स आर बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड ऑन द ओकेजन Thousands of devotees from across the globe are offering ardas at Patna Sahib remembering the 10th Sikh Guru's contribution to the community. Chief Minister Nitish Kumar addressed Sikh devotees in the Gurudwara premises. Takhat Harmandir Sahib has been decorated with special colorful lighting. The whole atmosphere is reverberating with Shabad Kirtan. Prashant Kumar Sinha with KK Lal AIR News Patna Sahib. In Punjab Thousands of devotees thronged gurudwaras to offer prayers on the occasion. The entire Golden Temple complex in Amritsar is decorated with special lighting. The festival of Lodi is being celebrated in Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh and parts of Himachal Pradesh today. The festival marks the end of the winter season and the beginning of longer days and shorter nights. It is observed the night before Makar Sakranti. President Ramnath Kovind has greeted people on the occasion of Lodi. He also greeted people on Makar Sakranti, Pongal, Bhogali, Bihu, Uttarayan and Poush Pabon. Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu has also greeted people on Lodi. While releasing a commemorative coin on Guru Gobind Singh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeted people on Lodi and expressed the hope that the festival will bring happiness in the lives of farmers. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at the rate AIR News Alerts. India has reiterated its commitment to the economic reconstruction of Afghanistan and to promote an inclusive Afghan-led, Afghan-owned and Afghan-controlled peace and reconciliation process in the country. India's position was enunciated by External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj at the historic India Central Asia Dialogue at Samarkand in Uzbekistan with the participation of Afghanistan. Addressing the first session of the dialogue, Mrs Swaraj said, "Their region is facing serious challenges posed by terrorism." She said that India, Central Asia and Afghanistan are societies which are tolerant and plural. To promote business development in the region, the minister said, they agreed to fight the scourge of terrorism together. Mrs. Swaraj offered to extend this partnership to Central Asia as well. We are willing to extend this partnership to Central Asia as well, where we can bring our countries closer by taking up concrete projects. Inter Asia, under our lines of credit and bias credit and by sharing our expertise. In this connection, I propose... the setting up of the india central asia development group at g2g level a joint statement issued at the end of the dialogue said india and five central asian countries along with afghanistan condemned terrorism in all its forms and manifestations the foreign ministers of afghanistan kazakhstan kyrgyz republic tajikistan turkmenistan and uzbekistan took part in the meeting mrs swaraj reached the ancient city of samarkand yesterday on a two day visit to attend the first ever india central asia dialogue us president donald trump has called reports about the federal bureau of investigation probing his alleged 
secret work for Russia, insulting. In a TV interview, Mr. Trump insisted that he has behaved in the most tough manner towards Russia than any U.S. president in modern history. He was reacting to a newspaper report that claimed that the FBI began to check back in 2017 whether Trump could secretly work for Russia against his country. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has confirmed that Israel carried out an airstrike in Syria over the weekend. In a cabinet meeting today, he said that Israel's air force attacked Iranian warehouses containing weapons in the Damascus International Airport. According to the Syrian Air Defense, only a warehouse of the Ministry of Transport at the Damascus airport was hit. All arrangements are in place for the Kumbh Mela at Prayagraj in Uttar Pradesh. The Kumbh, which is the world's largest congregation of humanity at one place, will begin on Tuesday with the first Shahi Snan of Akharas. Massive security arrangements are in place for the event. Meanwhile, the administration has banned the entry of vehicles into the Mela area from tonight. The event will be broadcast live by All India Radio and telecast live by Doordarshan. All India Radio has set up a separate 1 kilowatt FM transmitter, Kumbhavani, which will start from 5.55 a.m. tomorrow. It will continue till 10.05 in the evening every day. The broadcast from Kumbhavani will be heard in a radius of 35 kilometers. AIR, for the first time, has also made arrangements for the live streaming of all Kumbhavani programs on YouTube. The News Services Division of All India Radio in its weekly bilingual live phone-in program, Public Speak, tomorrow will bring you a discussion on Swachh Sarvekshan. This can be heard on the FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.30 p.m. On to sports now. At the Kelo India Youth Games in Pune today, 10-year-old Abhinav Shaw became the youngest gold medalist in shooting. He teamed up with Mehuli Ghosh to help West Bengal win the 10-meter air rifle mixed team event. Delhi's Tevan Rana bagged gold in the under-21 girls 25-meters pistol event. Here is a report on the other events at the Games. Maharashtra once again dominated the gymnastics arena at the Games to wrap up the under-21 category with a whooping nine medals on the last day of gymnastics events in Pune today. With 18 medals, including nine gold, six silver and three bronze in gymnastics, Maharashtra were also crowned champions in front of an adoring home crowd. In hockey, under-21 category, Odisha beat Uttar Pradesh in the first semi-final 2-1, while Haryana proved better than Punjab with a 3-1 win. Odisha and Haryana will now play for gold on 15. Maharashtra comes completed its half century of gold medals. Delhi is following with 36 gold and Haryana 31 gold so far. For AIR News, Manoj Kshirsagar Pune. The summit clash of the Premier Badminton League Season 4 is underway in Bengaluru between two-time runners-up Mumbai Rockets and last season's runners-up Bengaluru Raptors. Mumbai Rockets won their mixed doubles trump match, taking a 2-0 lead. However, India No. 1 Kidambi Srikant brought his team Bengaluru Raptors alive after winning the men's single super match 15-7, 15-10 against Anders and Thompson of Mumbai Rockets. With this win, Srikant is still unbeaten after playing eight matches in the ongoing tournament. Mumbai was leading 2-1 when reports last came in. And now, before we close, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says BJP is in politics to serve the nation, but other parties want to divide and rule and build vote banks. President Ram Nath Kovind approves re-promulgation of ordinance banning practice of instant triple talaq. Prime Minister releases commemorative coin of 350 rupees to mark birth anniversary of Guru Gobind Singh, says teachings of 10th Sikh Guru show the path of humanity. New Delhi reiterates commitment to economic reconstruction of Afghanistan and promoting peace and reconciliation process in the country. In sports, 10-year-old shooter Abhinav Shaw becomes youngest gold medalist at Kelo India Youth Games and in Premier Badminton League Summit Clash between Bengaluru Raptors and Mumbai Rockets underway in Bengaluru. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.